How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here. We're we got some big news today, if you if you can't tell already. So Brahala's official Twitch uh, channel just had an awesome dev stream. Anyways, they just revealed some information about the next battle pass, and including the official name, which is the Synthwave Battle Pass. So as you guys just saw the short little trailer they showed off. You can see a few things, and there's also a couple other things that they showed that we're going to talk about as well. So, let's break down that trailer real quick. So, right away you can see there's a new Nyx skin. <laughs> That's going to get a lot of people excited. I know there's a ton of Nyx mains out there. I also like Nyx. She's one of the coolest legends in the game. She's going to get a new skin as well as the weapons that go along with the skin and if you look closely it looks like the scythe is animated as well so that's really cool and also unique signature graphics that's right that looks awesome as well so super hyped about that another thing that they showed was the new map and there's actually two new maps that they showed in the dev stream there's this map, which is just a free-for-all map. It looks really, really cool. As you can see, everything is synthwave theme. And then they also showed a second new map, which they said was specifically just for Kung Fu. And it's also synthwave theme, and, and apparently this one is better uh, designed for larger teams, so you can do 3v3 or 4v4 Kung Fu a lot easier. Foda also mentioned that there's going to be a new crown avatar. I don't know if that's the official name for it. I'm just calling it the crown avatar. And apparently this is an item that you receive for completing the battle pass. Now, he did say it's not the last item you get in the battle pass, but it is an item that you do receive that just you get to wear and show that, hey, I completed the battle pass, you know? So I think that was pretty cool that they added that. And then they also mentioned that there's going to be new missions and they're not just going to be the same repeating missions from the Battle Pass 1, which by the way, I loved the missions in the Battle Pass 1. I thought they added a ton of variety to the game. They added a lot of creative missions that I never would have thought of. Some of them tying in with the lore of the legends and just a lot of other things. And some of the new missions that they mentioned are going to be missions that include the Great Sword because obviously we have the new weapon, the Great Sword, added to the game since the Battle Pass 1. And there's also going to be some missions, uh, some missions about using emotes at the end of matches. And apparently they changed the names of the taunts. They're not called taunts anymore, now they're called emotes. So, just throwing that out there. Uh, they're going to have missions that have to do with active inputs. And then uh, he also said there's going to be some missions that ha uh, have to do with the lore again. Uh, specifically, he mentioned a mission where you have to play legends that were brought into Valhalla by Bryn. So, I thought that was pretty interesting. I'm, it's going to make me actually go read the lore. Uh, more news, more news. Uh, new progression items. So there's going to be more progression items, which is honestly to be expected uh, because in the last or the first battle pass, there was some progression items. For example, the podium that would uh, progress uh, from level one to level two to level three. There was also a couple skins, the Petra skin and uh, some others. So that's going to be cool. And speaking of progression items. A lot of people were wanting to be able to equip the level 1 or level 2 versions of those skins. You know, after you've already got the level 3, you couldn't do that on the Battle Pass 1, but on the Battle Pass, uh, Synthwave Battle Pass, you can equip different levels of progression level items. So that is awesome. I don't know if it's retroactive to the Battle Pass 1 items. They didn't say. I really hope it is. Um, I'm not really sure why, why it wouldn't be because, I mean, those skins are already in the game. It seems like they just need a UI interface to where you can choose which skin you want, which I'm hoping they do. Uh, let's see. So, last thing that they revealed, I think, was the there's going to be a new nameplate insignia. That's what Foda called it, but in the game it's actually called a UI theme. So, it's the, uh, the, the border that goes over your 
uh, person when you're like in the loading screen. There's going to be a new one of those as well. So that's about it as far as the reveals go. I know it wasn't a lot, but it's enough to just get me so excited. There's going to be a ton more reveals coming starting tomorrow. If you go to brahalla.com slash battle pass, there's going to be reveals scheduled from Brahalla partners and content creators. Basically similar to what they did the first time they were uh, revealing the original battle pass where a certain content creator has a scheduled reveal. I think one or two every day for like a week or two leading up to the reveal of the, or I mean, the <laughs> leading up to the release of the battle pass. So I do have a reveal. I cannot talk about what it is. Uh, I don't even know the exact day of when my reveal is going to be, but I'm going to find that out later today or tomorrow. So, and uh, like you guys, I'm going to find out when all the other content creators are going to be scheduled to be revealing as well. The first reveal is going to be tomorrow. It's going to be by Baron Dipitus. So if you don't know who he is, I'm going to put a link to Baron's Twitter in the description of this video. He's also going to be giving away 20 MetaDev skins. So definitely go follow him on Twitter. And if you don't know who he is, he is basically... Baron is the lore master of Brawlhalla. He knows so much about the lore. He even created a website about the lore. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little teaser on the Battle Pass. I just wanted to bring you guys the latest and greatest news on the Battle Pass. The Synthwave Battle Pass, guys. The official name of the next Battle Pass for Brawlhalla. I'm so excited just to get back into Brawlhalla doing missions. Uh, being able to play every day and unlock new items every day is amazing. There's also going to be a ton of more stuff revealed, like I said, in the future. This is just a taste. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. Be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. As always, guys, this is Lucian Sword. Take it easy.